All right, I'm going to try to uh, do a little video here on, on, on a Thailand. And I am going to dedicate this video. Uh, hopefully, it's going to help the three individuals. It's not going to help the way they, yeah, you know, they probably anticipated this would look like. But maybe it's going to help for these three individuals to stay on the picture. Um, maybe even more. Who knows? I mean, who knows? Okay. So, you know, let me just go to the issue straight. Uh, they're not easy to pronounce their names. They're difficult to learn these names. Um, but very interesting. Very interesting to me. Very appealing to me stuff. Um, a family was involved, everybody was involved already since 1995. More people than what I can count. Uh, the thing is, that's why I'm going to leave it here. That's why I'm not going to, I'm not going to go into any issues. that will concern huh, uh, legal issues, let's say. Also, there is plenty of space for that. I will not. I will not do this because I already have stated in my website, blog. Uh, it's a different culture. These are two different, different worlds. Uh, Thailand is a country in, on the other side of the world, far apart from here, from Slovenia, far away. Even that a daughter from Maha, the king of Thailand, um, who was involved in this since 1995 with his brothers and, of course, father, very nice father. Father was a very nice father. Um, he was very nice to me for a record period of time. I can tell you maybe that the whole world gave up on me maybe already and he was still very nice to me. It's just really, really exceptional. And then, yeah, a few years before his death, which I wish he, he was still around, but suppose before his death um, he had he had enough of this too okay so what I want to say to you in this video basically is a different culture it is and really the US government have done stuff that <laughs> goes beyond anything so far imaginable in the history of the world in the most negative sense possible have allowed itself uh, things that are not comparable in forms of genocide ethnic cleansing extermination torture issues concerning my case that's what u.s government did uh, now i'm gonna set that stuff aside because this year, it's a different place. It's different, different issues that are involved, issues that required these people to act in certain ways, uh, to stay afloat, to run the country. Taiwan is quite isolated right there. And a part of the world, Asian part of the world is a monarchy. Well, not exactly. You have Malaysian and Asia. Okay. Yes and no. Okay, in a way. But definitely under the strain in that, on that location. Now, what I want to say to you is there are right now three people I'm worried the most. Three people are the worried me the most inside the royal family right now of the Thailand. Three people. 
Uh, let's go to the business. I am gonna do. I'm gonna do more video on this, but right now I want to do this one immediately because what I'm about to tell you. First of all, the daughter from Piking was an ambassador here to Slovenia for many years, uh, to the Slovakia and to Slovenia and to some other country, I suppose. I've seen that right now. The thing is that um, during MK Ultra, before I managed to pull myself out and so far, uh, I wouldn't even comment anything on this stuff. Uh, I honestly, in the world where I was thrown, uh, all you have to do basically by see my video from 2010, which I released on on the internet, to understand that I was I was a total wreck basically. Um, <clears throat> I was um, I was having next to numerous people I met or met me uh, I was heavily tortured it was a lot of stuff that went on that would not allow a space for sanity basically sanity was just pushed out through the use of violence through all kinds of repressive methods and stuff uh, it was almost a point of no return almost a certain death without ever having the ability to, to even disclose about what we know and so seeing this girl from Phi King um, I, it starts with S, uh, actually with, um, yeah, this one with S, the other one with B. Uh, it's just, it's just that um, it's nothing like I imagined during MK Ultra. that's one thing, and it goes for, for all the females I have seen. Uh, it's a totally different, totally, totally different picture. It's contrary to the picture that I built in my head, you know, the problem, there were problems with also Thai royal family. These are the problems that go all the way to 95. These are the problems I'm not going to discuss. Um, I, I am just, I am just going to put it this way that here is a European inside of the European Union as a US citizen. Um, from my perspective, from my point of view, uh, this is the stuff that should concern Central Intelligence Agency, FBI, is the stuff that should concern. Uh, and now I'm talking about the corruption which United States of America have, what I previously mentioned, have committed. A European, as far as European Union, you know, you have European Union Parliament, uh, you have court, and you have institutions, including police, that, you know, I don't see why I would go and take whatever these criminals have done, which citizen I am, uh, never mind here Slovenia, Slovenia always was a hellhole, but, you know, when considering entry into the European Union, for which I fought for the NATO, uh, and my even becoming a US citizen to receive this, I'm not going to say poor treatment, but exactly what I described earlier, this is totally unacceptable, I would use uh, to actually get at somebody over there in, in, in Asia, you know, because even more so because United States of America is a fascist neo-Nazi state. It's run by the Nazis, by 
a German fascism, neo-Nazism, British fascism, Nazism. If, if, if that doesn't give me the right to go after somebody over there in Asia and start spreading hatred and uh, do exactly what American neo-Nazi that worked in, in a uniform, is a, in a presidential uniform, or I don't know, inside of the US Congress, uh, had in his mind when doing such a mindless stuff to me, uh, together with British, or on behalf of maybe Buckingham Palace, British royals, and all together on behalf of Berlin, on behalf of Germany. That doesn't give me the right to go after some other culture in some other part of the world, whom, by the way, I even feel I have caused trauma with stupidity, with the stupid shit that had absolutely nothing to do, not with them, not with me. It doesn't give me that kind of right, you understand? So <clears throat> I'm just excusing myself to... American stupidity, disgrace, which several American presidents have made beginning 1995. Don't know anything else how I would express myself about that. Then the second thing is, let's go and let's see. And I, I would really like to ask Thai King uh, to do me, please, a favor. That I would really like to see. I, I have seen the bad news about Sun over there in, in New York. Uh, he's suffering for a chemotherapy, through a chemotherapy for uh, some kind of what he was involved. Uh, since the day he came to the U.S. with the family uh, on the mother's side who divorced the king, you know. Uh, as a young kid with his brothers, he was involved in it. And one day he told me that, that he's having some kind of issue that he's experienced, stuff like this. The thing is that, in my case, who did not? I mean, I myself, I was a subject to human experimentation. It's not, it's not even a human experimentation. This was a regular butchery beginning the 95. I mean, that's one thing. He didn't have any of that stuff back then. Many years after, once he already became a physician, you know, I remember that he stated to me this stuff, and this is really terrible stuff, but I don't know if I was sympathetic to that because of what I stated earlier. Uh, I didn't even recognize myself in, in a real time, you know. Uh, the females, these females, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I consider them as, I considered them as beautiful. Sometimes I did not. Uh, I was just like, um, like a weather, you know. Right now it's sunny and maybe in whatever, before the evening, Never mind a day or two. I was, I was, I could be in a completely different mode, whatever, for a reason that involved what I earlier stated, issues, which required violence and all kinds of issues involved in MK Ultra, ongoing terror, stupidities, humiliations, you know, just what I explained a little earlier under American Constitution, under American Bill of Rights. That's all there is to it. Um, this boy, I would say, who is undergoing chemotherapies, uh, and he, t he told me that his case is going to be related uh, I think he said like something like on a surface the cancer something like this. I gotta see the article or something, but he claimed me that I'm gonna have some other issue, and that that's gonna be related to under the skin or whatever and that kind of stuff. Um, I think it was just one more issue like this that was used uh, throughout MK Ultra. I frankly 
don't even understand why anybody would it was threats like this from King Mahatu. Uh, however, I completely, completely disregard that as just something basically to get back at me. Because as I said earlier, uh, I was not exactly present person to be around. I was not interested in them. I didn't want to have anything to do with it. Look because of what went on with completely other issues in completely other parts of the world right here in Europe. Um, I just wanted to ignore and didn't want to be on a picture. I was troubled. And probably really for the wrong reasons, because I think that these were actually the people that were really good people. I think that it was just this cluster this this the circumstances that somehow made things uh, not fall to part you know and i don't think what possibly could could get in the right place next to to this british family from london or uh you know and or others involving this stuff here right here from european continent never mind other continents uh, I don't think I had any chance really and so I would make a plea that this guy I understand that he's without the money and so on that is not a good uh, whether if that if that's like meant to imitate me or something like that it doesn't touch me okay if it is if it's meant it doesn't psychologically affect me in absolutely any way I'm gonna say okay so if you can just skip that part and take care of that, I'm, what I'm trying to say, your part, your son, uh, who also, by the way, uh, Maha, he stated to me uh, that he will be off the picture, that he will be gone, that he will, he will be the end of it. He does have a lady, he does have a children on the side. I don't know whether that's public or not, I remember that. Uh, he does have it and what I want to say to you is that he stated to me that for him this will be it that he'll be of the picture he will eventually uh, get his afterlife title because there already are too many princes and so on and it's how you reduce. Now, I feel because of his personal involvement in my case that <clears throat> he should be treated, recovered, cured, uh, whatever it takes uh, to be done with this guy to, to ensure, for God's sake, that, that, that I'm not going to be, that I'm not going to have anything to do with that with his disappearance basically because either way based on our communication uh as i stated it would not result in fatality but basically that certificate which is exactly the same issue i am asking you king maha please uh is next is to keep your daughter also on the picture it's a daughter that served at the United Nations for a very long time and it's a daughter that is very highly embraced by people in her surroundings. Um, a daughter, as I stated earlier, who served here in Slovenia even as an um, ambassador of Thailand and in Slovakia and, I don't know, Austria or Hungary or maybe all of the above. Uh, and did have a problem with arrhythmia, did have a problem with the heart. However, also you exaggerated me that stuff. Too. You tried me with that stuff too, knowing that I'm a little bit soft person too, and so on and so forth. And the thing is that it is true that <clears throat>
that uh, sorry about that I got some ad that popped up to me right there uh, I am definitely not the person that was around you uh, and for what I'm grateful to you is that you managed to oppose to many other people involved in MK Ultra discern between these issues of reality and basically issues that went on literally through my eyes and you gave me the ability a certain ability to see through you things to being in your surroundings uh, I'm going to get to that issue in a little bit. It's about your females over there in Thailand. Um, it really had nothing to do with me. It had absolutely nothing to do with me. It got to do with the people, with other people, but not really. Really didn't have anything to do with me. Um, the girl she also had some boyfriend but not one it was the whole thailand that's full of applicants that that i understand you know too many applicants for a beautiful princess you know. they are both princesses really beautiful priceless yeah so definitely that stuff did not have absolutely anything to do with me um one time Maha had a lady here that was actually a beautiful lady and uh, that was supposedly interested in me or was it more like a joke man I have no idea and I was like no way and this and that whatever uh, and supposedly that, that I completely make her so uncomfortable that she became a stiff like a robot or something like that uh, so that they had to sort of cure her from my uh, maltreatment under MK Ultra. this is how they <laughs> this is how they presented me as yes, that I was so cruel that uh, that the lady no, the lady kind of wanted to kill me too okay so that's fine that's the beginning everything starts somewhere uh, everything is better than nothing. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, definitely that was not me, real me. Today I read this news about your daughter, about this one from United Nations. And she was here, last time she was here inside of this room in 2019 when they brought me from Poland saying to me, well, now you're gonna come home from poland very soon we have blah 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 it was this pretty lady you know pretty good looking lady very positive very beautiful and you know and ah, when he came to these beautiful ladies it was something nice uh I I was already so worn out from this MK Ultra that the only thing I would do is I would just let my brain uh, free basically like yeah, like you let the cattle out to just enjoy itself eat grass or something like that I didn't pay attention to I just wanted to hear more beautiful stuff basically it ended with uh, very soon you will come back from Poland and, and you did very good but uh, unfortunately I will go back uh, to Thailand uh, and I was like in my head it was started to spin because it was like fuck I said to myself I I Thailand is not easy this is I told her actually I can recall clearly if you have audio recorded and stuff I told her, but, you know, Thailand is not very near here, you know. Uh, and she was looking and she was laughing. Uh, this is not like you fucking sit in the car and 
and say, okay, we're going to go for a two-hour ride with a car, and that's it. Uh, I thought, this is, this is like really far, you know. You, you know, you realize that this is very, very far. I mean, I mean, what the fuck? The thing is that she was here in Slovenia as an ambassador, okay, and that she supposedly liked me since, like, okay, 23 years ago. She made me really angry at the United Nations. Uh, at least 23 years ago, more, 24 years ago, 25 years ago that she liked me already. And the thing is that I couldn't realize, I, I, I was like, fuck, now when I return from Poland, you're going to go to a bank, okay? This is now, yeah? But before, when you were here even as an ambassador in Slovenia, right? Uh, I said, what the fuck happened before? Why didn't you? I just right now, I was thinking about this stuff. Why didn't you just sit in the car and came here? I mean, what the fuck? Why? What's going on? Why? Why? I mean, you, you could say, hey, uh, hey, Bob, I mean, you know, my name is, you know, like this. And we would go, I don't know, for a walk or something and, and discuss these issues. I, I don't get it. I can recall one time going with the police officers toward the torches, and that must have been probably 2015. Uh, and I remember the girl, she told me that they're going to meet me. I don't know whether she realized or not, I was in a completely same state of mind as when MK Ultra took place. So when she passed next to me, like she said she's going to do it, uh, it just, it did, that just didn't, didn't absolutely change anything. Because when you're drugged up, you're in that state of mind, in that matrix, that's all there is to it. There is no way out. I mean, you're locked into, into that program, in that mode. And with my issues, with the amount of my issues, uh, it's like I wrote her on a Facebook. I told her, you know, in situation I was without this MK Ultra proofs of any kind. Now uh, I barely could find my head. I mean, my shoes, whatever. With so many people meeting, with so many issues, with so much stuff that went on. Uh, with literally no job. With writing complaints, doing videos. Probably, I, I think they told me that I broke the world record about a video material that anybody ever created, too. That's what I was told, too. Yeah, I was told that already, I don't know, in what year. And it probably, when it comes to sense, talking sense, I probably really did. It's just that these are really issues that are a little bit deep. Um... When you're in a situation like this, I was thinking about today. Okay, maybe I'm going to show you that video from 2010, but I don't even dare to see myself from 2010. The video, the way I looked in 2010, if you would go through my videos, the stuff you would see is, boy, you don't see that shit anywhere. Anywhere in the world. You know? One time I am uh, like 2010, uh, I didn't even know, you know, when you write the book, let's say, you got to know the whole scenario through and through. You got to have it in your head. And you got to start somewhere and you got to start making point, uh, which is going to bring you right to the final chapter throughout this uh, centerpiece if you like throughout this this whole description of why whatever right or if you want to develop something or whatever it is that you want to do um and when i started with this shit in 2010 a little earlier i said in 2015, let's say, I, I 
2017 still i didn't know where where my head was where my ass was where my shoes were not exactly like this damn good i knew i knew better than lawyer i knew better than psycho psychologist or psychiatrist still this is a terrible terrible ordeal this is this is no this is nothing like i read on 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 king maha's website about his special forces where it says sas it says like british sas um you win if you dare and stuff like this this isn't about winning there this is about much much more than about that that's win and there that's just a one percent that's not even ten percent of the stuff i had to go through stuff i had to know to get through this ordeal this was a little bit something else very much something else no so what i want to say to you is if she would have come to me and uh you know be sensible about it and so on uh, which that's a question how how is that how that works i don't know uh with her and with her sister i felt really really comfortable because they're really easy to approach easy to communicate everything you know uh it's just that it becomes evident that during that period germans and britons uh basically americans and british on behalf of germany which in a great way handles taiwan almost it's almost like ownership of taiwan you know uh they didn't need me to have a girl over there from thailand or you know get married to the princess this this is not this is not what it is you know i saw this picture here with um oh, okay i saw this picture today about uh, about the the maha's ex-wife here uh on the internet here this one here this lady here that you see you know and she looks mean you got to admit and yeah she threatened me over there it was blah 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 all kinds of stuff it was because of my under mk ultra declining and this and that the thing is she's not mean this lady she's not mean she is she's not mean this is the thing is that you see that shit next to her german and that one right behind that's fucking evil that shit is fucking evil that's the one that require her to act like that that little shit that's standing next to her that was in my face compassionate with me uh in her face compassionate with her uh while demonstrating her in front of her absolutely no respect for me uh and probably even required her for her government in berlin or london to act that way that little shit that's a shit not a human being excuse me uh as for this lady here that you see um this is the this is this is the first wife yeah the first wife of of maha uh which took off intelligently took off to the united states and in the united states she met me uh but the thing is she had too many kilos it appeared to me she met me during mk ultra you know um there's also some age difference um but you know here's the thing i don't know much about this age difference and back and forth i was married to an older lady and the thing is that uh, all this weight and all these issues this got to do everything with the mental state of 
mental state and it's the kind of stuff that's all not only negotiable but the two people can work easier together in these things get through and so on i indicated her that she was not attracted to me no the thing is that she is attractive she's very she's actually beautiful she's got extra kilos but I don't think I could say that this is not attractive lady. She is attractive. She was soliciting in Germany for her daughter. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe a friend or whatever, whatever, that, whatever the case was. Okay. Um, this is she. And I don't think, you know, that it could be said that this is not very beautiful, very pretty lady. It is it is uh and well this here this is the lady i was asking maha about becoming my wife um which wife is this is the third one i was asking maha when is she gonna be mine and maha was just huh, how can i say he was uh, he was using her, really, and father, to just uh, wrap me around the little finger, basically. Um, the thing about her is that this was unparalleled beauty in my in my MK Ultra experience to all other women in Taiwan. I think maybe I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, this was tremendously beautiful lady from what i have seen she is still very very beautiful and is the same age as myself is has listed that's what maha did is not true uh but has listed the birth date as a december 9 1971 exactly the same birth date like i have yeah maha said he's gonna do this to remind me of this stuff here and the thing about that wife that I have demonstrated you right now, uh, the thing about her is that she liked me. And Maha knew that too. Uh, but the thing about Maha is that Maha is very, he, he is, um, very very much not what people have but actually it's not about the people i would have exactly the same idea i mean you're talking about uh you know you're talking about the king uh how the hell what kind of idea the hell you're gonna have i mean if you're not gonna have this kind of idea i mean what what is in it what's left for you uh what kind of idea can you can you can you bear in mind i mean for you to um not to see it that way but he was not jealous is what i'm trying to say okay that's what is what is shocking to me is that he knew about uh her uh kind of having feelings for me he knew about it and the thing about it is that that he he was he was actually not even angry about it um they had this wild party day and you see born on december the 9 1971 as she was always part of this family uh but because i was so insane about her this is this is really true what i'm saying to you right now um i was just i would just every time just go straight after her i mean whatever they would bring me all the women they had it would be just just pass me and the only thing it would be i would be just asking about her i could never ever for a single time question her beauty or something like this so you know what it comes to me as like a nice surprise 
that he was the one who fathered his son. I see that he fathered the son. Um, yeah, I think it was in 2004 that she announced that she is, she's pregnant. Yeah. So, yeah, well, let me see that stuff here. So, it's here. 2000, in 2001, the crown prince wed his third wife. That was in 2001. And I don't know, in 2004, uh, it was a boy that was born. And this is the boy he will replace. This is a boy right here, as you see, will replace father right there. So this was the lady I was completely crazy about. He married her. And I don't know how the two have fallen apart. Maybe really because of me. But maybe not. Um... He is a very smart man and he's got a job to do, a monarchy to run, and he's got to stay slim, and he is staying slim, he is staying in a good shape, he does go hiking, he does the stuff like that, uh, and he did found himself a younger one to keep him up as much as possible so he can continue to do his work. He does a fair amount of work. Uh, anybody that would... People not, but the media likes to interpret things from what in reality are into something that are not. Um, if I was to start today with all this females and I didn't even get to his... Not a single... Uh, really not to son, not to daughter, and they're really beautiful. Uh, and I just learned about this here. I would start literally with her because she's just gorgeous, beautiful. Uh, and so this is also to explain to you that I did not have anything against Thailand woman. This is stupid stuff. Uh, stupid stuff, however, that came extremely handy to the people which I demonstrated a little earlier over there, let's say, like in Bavaria and stuff like this. You know, you don't need any fucking permission from Germans uh, or Britons to meet somebody else or something like this. They, they, they don't really, this is not their kingdom or something like this. I am using this language, which sometimes I don't like, really, because of what was done to me. Um, nothing is there here in this place, and they have committed, according to international laws and treaties, something punishable with jail lifetime jail is something that applies to citizens of European Union or citizens members of the British society still regardless of their social status and it goes the same in the United States of America uh, it's a different part of the world and these people have done something that is contrary to the values, to human values of life. Uh, and I'm just trying to say it's not their business who, how, in my life, and so on and so forth. They have allowed themselves something they never should. So that means that if you're from another country uh, or if you're German or if you're whatever you are, uh, you have to deal with me straight without any kind of intermediate, any kind of, uh, I don't like, let's say, a luggage. Uh, you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, is the same thing like I would be dealing with you and 
in between I would be looking to well, I, for advice or instructions to somebody else and stuff that's the stuff I do not allow basically I deal straight I don't go through any intermediates any uh, you know uh, anyone that I just don't do that kind of stuff um, I was severely humiliated when brought by the Germans to even Poland, Czech Republic, <laughs> Belarus, and even Russia uh, were tortured and stated by the Germans, you know, you are in, you're in Poland, you know, you're in Poland, you understand you're in Poland, this is Polish, or this is, I don't know, Czech, yeah, and was talking to me in Slavic language, like is language in Slovenia where I am, and you have somebody like a German uh, presenting you somebody from Poland, you know, telling you this, but this is Polish. This is this is I don't know. Uh, this one here, this is Czech. Um, on other occasion, and again, have some Norwegians tell me, "Oh, it's now safe for you to go to Poland." And it's now safe for you to go to Belarus. We have spoke with them. And it's now even safe for you to go to uh, uh, Russia. We have arranged with them. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, you're the one who used Central Intelligence Agency to hijack me, bring me to Eastern Europe, beat me up over there, basically butcher me. And you are now assuring me that it's okay for me to go to whatever part of the world? Uh... You know, I don't like that kind of stuff. I'm going to, I am trying to make a point here that it's the kind of stuff that is negotiable from one point of view and from another point of view. Germans owe a lot of money. I am not Mark Zuckerberg and I am not Elon Musk. I am not one of them, but I am American citizen. I was American citizen before Elon Musk was a citizen. I was American citizen before Melania Trump became American citizen. I've not committed any crime and I have contributed in this cause far more than all their presidents and the US Congress did since beginning of 1995 and he goes to the British Royals and it goes to the German politicians, their parliament. I will not allow for German to steal 29 years and get away with more than just a murder. That's not going to happen. And that's exactly this stuff here. That stuff that I demonstrated you earlier that made me use language that is rather of a poor choice whatever I demonstrated you the first wife of Maha with these people here it's a poor choice because it's intended to be poor choice it's a poor choice because it's meant to kick ass To explain to you that I'm not for sale and secondary that I do value human relations beyond what you see right there on the picture for me a Thailandese way of life I think it's really beautiful and culture and everything and it's something worth for me to celebrate. Why would I go and restrict myself to such issues as, as, as what you see here? As I stated, all the females that I have seen and it's quite contrary to, um, you know, what I indicated under MK Ultra and for what uh, Thai King 
prepared this party uh, i don't know what year was it that yeah 2014 he got some party with this beautiful third wife that got the thailand up on its feet which i think it's nothing wrong with it this is really intelligent guy uh he just doesn't like to stick in his shell you know it's a good reason why he's a king his father was a very intelligent his father was extremely intelligent guy i know his father was an extremely intelligent guy because i listened to him inside of this room when he negotiated and with the putin and with other people when he was around and he was always around the top top people he always got the top seat i know he was a very intelligent guy for many many reasons and out of all these three boys it was exactly maha that got his seat and he just doesn't like maybe what we say monotono he likes versatile dynamic uh, changing uh, you know atmosphere because he knows that that's it's that's the way it's got to be and it's something about him is that he's not concentrated like they're trying to depict him only on himself but he's thinking a little bit more he's going a little bit further with this and he's thinking also about other people believe it or not he is concerned for lives of other people I know so because because of the case of my own uh, as for for the wife he divorced he had me next to her when when he has her right there half naked um i think he came to conclusion that i i totally gave up on life it was 2014 in 2013 they threw me inside the psychiatric hospital you know, he spent time back and forth and this and that and it was not i was totally depressed and uh, i i i just i just didn't want to be there and then when the party was over basically then he started his own party with her next to me and so on and so forth and as i stated she liked me she always did like me uh and he was trying to accent me basically that she's beautiful come on uh you know wake the fuck up you know instead of that he woke the whole thailand and there you have it uh this here this is no she was not born 9 december i'm telling you this she was born like just like two three days the difference or maybe even i think he told me he said two days okay i give the, the number two okay which is very very close to december 9 when i was born um parents 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 her parents they were making some business they were uh the parents the parents didn't like me so much she had a brother and all this and everybody was into i had no idea who these people were i had no idea i i just remember the house they were doing some kind of real estate and stuff like this they were expanding they were just looking for any kind of opportunity i suppose to turn the money around okay which makes sense yeah um but you know out of respect maha not so that i would go and humiliate or insult or something like this if i were to start with this ladies i would start with nobody else than with her then the next thing i would do is i have no idea i probably would just proceed then uh so so yeah then, now let's see this here uh no i probably would just proceed i'm not going to go to facebook that's a very beautiful name too okay so 
then I would just proceed. And then this one here is the second oldest. That one is 44. That one was born on December the 7th. Look. Okay, so if this one was born on December the 7th, then I change this and I go even to okay December the 7th I was December the 9th and the other one claim is December the 9th um okay so I am upgrading that claim from December the 9th for his beautiful wife that I demonstrated into as far as several days of difference that I am going to give you another four or five days difference between December 9 as an actual birth date is something like this that he told me I think I'm not going to say that's what he told me what he told me definitely is what it is what I'm saying is is kind of an assumption yeah so his daughter here this here zip two days difference between my birthday and his wife I think that it go to about four or five days difference probably December the 5 would be the right date not December 9th well, price is beautiful, and that's why I'm, I'm making this video uh, next to issue that concerns his brother, which is right here, his brother in exile in the U.S., who was involved with other brothers, uh, to please take care of this. Uh, I... I don't want to be seen as the one that contributed to his uh, disappearance. I don't want to be remembered like this. That's one thing. And the second thing is uh, this here. This is uh, this is really got it here. Trying to this are just the wives, really, that's not going to work here. Uh, he was ambassador at the United Nations, is really, really respected, and so on. And you, King Maha, told me, you told me alone that if I would marry her, uh, what would happen is you would see me as an empty space at the United Nations where she was so popular and so on and so forth okay so now she's immune to that issue and she will live forever that's it supposedly she's suffering from uh, more than just arrhythmia these days she lost the conscience and so on that's not a good stuff okay I hope that uh, she gets back immediately and she's she's doing she's 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 well okay then from this one so uh, we are in agreement right in respect to these two issues uh, from from that issue I wouldn't even have a problem moving to another issue and that's is it? that's actually her daughter wait a minute tick 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 tick, tick. spouse born no 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 okay daughter there you go that's her daughter uh and nice 
Well, um, yeah, what can I say? Okay, that's stuff you can see it yourself if you like. Um, <clears throat> this one here caught my attention um, I, I don't know what to tell you I I don't know if there is any Asian woman that is not beautiful I'm just gonna put it this way some are really really beautiful and there are plenty on that uh, on that Thailandese uh, okay I was trying to make sense out of the children and these are the guys here that you see they got themselves into the real estate that kind of stuff in the US all involved the brothers all involved but in the best relationship I was with a man that is now suffering from cancer and is about to disappear as I stated according to what I was told is too many of them already with the royal titles and that's how they do it yeah so i wouldn't want that because of me uh is very energetic is very intelligent uh a strong person he's really really strong uh much stronger than his brothers they're all married with the families and so on Um, and then we have this one here and this one this one is what is uh, sorry this is this is what I was talking to you about a little earlier about the wife whom he divorced and I have no idea where she is and I'm asking Maha I hope that she's doing okay I hope that she's doing well she is a treasure that gave you your best son she's priceless really really priceless I have not seen women as attractive in Thailand uh, it's what is amazing to me is that not a single time this is what until until I have everything enough of it and the thing is that with her it was probably 10 years that I keep trying to get her and Maha was always very nice how I remember that Maha was nice with me is literally through her because he understood that it could be the whole world that I would not want but I never would give up on his <laughs> what became his wife so yeah this is a lot of dramatic dra dramatic stuff but I don't know how much really this stuff is dramatic okay I don't know uh, Maha threw me in the jail for like two three times uh, three times he threw me in the jail in Thailand uh, but it did not make any impression on me they, they probably they realized then that that uh, I was not quite in my head uh, they took me what do you think you think I'm just like this I can throw you in the jail and this and that and I was like yeah right uh huh and and what I mean what what and so what I mean what I mean just like this this is how I was you couldn't you couldn't prove me wrong there's no way uh, the thing is I was not I was not faking the thing is I was not simulating I was real I was more real than the people that 
were sure I was simulating till they punched me uh, and I think broke me a rib just to learn that I was not simulating. I didn't give a three shit under MK Ultra. Under MK Ultra, your mind is paralyzed completely. Even mind is paralyzed. If somebody is not keeping you active with focus on something, you just go into oblivion, basically. You're there, but you're like frozen. That's MK Ultra. You have no control, really, of. Uh, and you don't have one because it doesn't make sense because you know I did try to liberate myself but they always had a police officers next to it was a police officers that always made sure that I could not escape any whatever I was in the world I mean, you know they had people you don't get to see them but they always are present uh, yeah. This here, this is, this is, this is then the next one I would move to. Okay, as you see, these are all hot ladies. I have not seen any lady that is not hot. And, and, and preferably, I would just like a child that goes into the store, like a candy store, if you were, you were a child and your mom took you to the store and she asked you, which chocolate, actually a candy, which one would you like to get? And you could make your decision. You stood up right there in front of the counter and you look at all those candies and, and everything that was there. And the only thing you would want to do is you want to maybe grab the whole, everything. You, you would go like, it's difficult to make a decision, right? So that's basically it. If it would be possible, I would just take everyone in, in the whole Thailand with me and so on. So that's all there is. I don't have anything else to say about this stuff. Uh, obviously that this things that and they did, they they presented me, British did, presented me to the Thailandese king and his father, to the Maha's father also, is completely insensitive and uh, not interested in in and so on in in thailand this woman that you know they, they they severely hurt them psychologically i think also it was like this incident too so that's not good either so that's all i want to say in this video prince harry came up with idea for me not to let out this mention me that if the thailandese king maha uh, if you don't bend to him down uh, on his knees in front of him uh, and uh, I don't know uh, marry a daughter in that sense you for sure are dead yes and then he went ahead and he exampled here uh, him son in exile and uh, I've decided today because of all these issues involved because of the British because of the Germans because of all this stuff that the best thing would just be for me if that would be of course if that would be acceptable to place on the first line human relations however in the period because I do not negotiate any kind of issues when it comes to this isn't about freedom now I am the one catching now I am the one after you you can get me killed but you're gonna get me killed the world will see until now you fooled the world you had a chance to lie to the world you had a capacity to say well you know we are proving our leadership whatever we are demonstrating the ability to lead but that ability is gone because I have proven beyond a doubt 
the truth about you not only about who you are but that I am in control of you you no longer are in control of me part of that control and to make sure that German pays what he owes is also for me for the time being to distance myself for the time being from any kind of personal relations right now or anything that could be used for the British or for the Germans to advance, to negotiate in absolutely any way this case or I should say even my well-being even this that's how self-secure I am you can kill me, sure you can, but you will kill me, no less. That's the thing. Before, I didn't have proofs. Now, there is no way you possibly can deny who was behind it all. Excluding Thailand. I am just setting Thailand aside. I, I'm not blaming Thailand for anything. Thailand is not guilty for anything, for absolutely anything. It's other culture, just like a Japanese. Uh, are dear to my heart, and I hope that time will come when we have capacity to expand uh, to other issues. You know, uh, and build on those issues. without somebody sticking notes into matters that really in the first place were none of their business i'm just going to put it this way i am happy to have meet you uh in thailand i think that you're special beautiful people and that's all there is for now that's all i have to say for now but uh, the extortion that kind of stuff with the british and 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 all that I I I can't go beyond what I already acknowledged them. I did already acknowledge. I did express my opinion about these people. They they really are nobodies. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.